Hi everybody, this is a Clockwork Pi game shell and today we are going to try to install Pico 8 on it. Hi everybody, here's Christian from uh, Lazy Devs and today we are going to go through the steps that you need to go through to install Pico 8 on the game shell. Now in my recent review, which will go up uh, there, uh, I noticed or I said that there is like sometimes some, some difficulties we are uh, trying to get stuff working on a game shell. And so if you have any problems getting Pico 8 running on here, uh, well, this is what, what you have to do. So in the main menu, there is the Pico 8 um, uh, option, the bubble that you when, you, when you click on it, you get this kind of screen when it says, please purchase the Pico 8, uh, please purchase the Pico 8, the Pico 8, <laughs> and copy it to the uh, games Pico 8 directory, I guess, that doesn't say that either. Um, so uh, what is Pico 8, what, what does it refer to when it says Pico 8, and where is it folder? They are the two things that we have to discuss. So let's move our, our, over to our desktop. Uh, all right, so here on the desktop we have this little file, this little deodoro. That's going to be the file that we need to put on a game shell. It is literally the zip file, just the zip file. That's what it refers to when it says uh, get the Pico 8. Uh, it's, um, it has to be a res Raspberry Pi version, and um, you get this file when you go on Lexalawful. And you click here, now this is a new thing that is just set up with this little screen here, but you click up here and download, and this is the Raspberry Pi version that you need to get. This is the zip file that you need to click on uh, in order to get Pico 8 on, um, on the game shell. So after you downloaded this, now you kind of have to figure out how to get this on the game shell. And there's multiple versions of, or multiple options how to do this, um, but I'm gonna just use the simplest one. So first of all, let us go get back to the game shell and let us look here. Um, so one thing I did here already is I already installed, um, I already set up my Wi-Fi. Um, so now when you do that, uh, when you click on, you get you get like this option called Tiny Cloud. And if, if you click that, you will see like, lots of information here. And you can use this information to log in uh, to the game shell from your main PC. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, you see here for Windows Network, and then it says some things. Um, so let's do that. We're just gonna open up a regular Explorer window. Now, don't mind me, this is this is a German uh, Windows, but it's, I assure you it works exactly the same a regular Windows works as well. Um, right, so uh, we're gonna just up here in this little thing here, we're just gonna type in the stuff that we said that, that the screen on the game shell says. So double slash, uh, back, backslash, uh, 192, in my case it's 192, uh, 168, oops, dot 168, dot uh, 0 0.47 uh, slash games. Now this is um, in my case. Uh, in your case it might be something else so you need to make sure you, you type in the numbers that appear on your screen. And so here you, you kind of can, uh, you might also need to have to uh, type in a, um, a password and the password also says right here on the screen of the game shell, it says CPI. And that's going to be the password and the login as well. Uh, in my case, I didn't have to do it because I think I did it before. And so it remembered that password. Right. So it opens up this games directory. Um, and here you could technically upload um, your ROMs and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't give you full access to the game shell, but it's just enough to get Pico 8 running. So here's the Pico 8 folder. And... Um, I'm gonna just drop in the zip file inside the Pico 8 folder, like so. Now I'm gonna go back to the to the to the game shell, and I'm gonna go back to the to the Pico 8 folder. I'm gonna run it, and whap whap, it doesn't work. Well, again, as I mentioned in my review, um, sometimes things don't quite work as intended with a game shell. In this specific case, the problem is we put it in the right direction. It says here games Pico 8, that's where we are currently. Um, but the problem is like there is some kind of install script happening here in the background. And that install script just can't deal with the current version of, of, the, of the Pico 8 that we just uploaded here. So recently there, there's an update on Pico 8. And so we are now at 1.12C, um, but the version of the 
launcher expects this version to be uh, uh, 1.11 g so there's a simple solution here where we just go to the um, to the file explorer and we're just going to turn this into one uh, we re re rename the zip file into 1.11 g bam all right so let's get back to the to the uh, raspberry pi let's just run it again and now it says like, okay, I found the file, but um, it's not the file that I expected. There is an MB5 check that failed that it's, oh, oh, it's a different file than from the one I expected. Do you still want to continue? And I say, yes, I want to continue. Let's continue. So if we continue, we're going to go, uh, the thing installs. And now when we go in Pico 8, you should get pcreate installed. And that's it, that's all there is to it. With menu, you can exit to uh, shut down pcreate and exit to the main menu. So this is all you need to get pcreate running on the game shell. Now some uh, some information, some, some things that you know uh, should be aware of. This version of the of the launcher is currently here when you go to update. It's stable one, 0.24 so maybe in the future when there's a more updated version it will actually install right from scratch and you don't have to do any renaming um, but yeah in this kind of version and this kind of specific pico 8 version uh, you would ha you have to do some tweakeroo to get it running so now pico 8 is running on a game shell um, but it's not quite perfect and there might be still some questions that, that might be lingering like for example where is the cards folder and stuff like that and also it would be nice if we could get um, because one thing that we have there's a problem here right now the volume buttons don't really work so we can't change the volume while pk games are running so this is that's something that we will show in the next tutorial see you next time around guys bye bye